Hi, welcome back. I am gonna run you through how I apply one of my all-time favorite products today. This is something I use in almost every single video. You will be familiar with this product. However, I realized that I never properly broke down how to apply this and I still get comments asking, what's too much, what's too little, how can I make this work for my skin? And if you guess the Daniel Sandler watercolors, you are correct. So I'm gonna show you how to properly use these liquid blushes, as well as just give you kind of an overall fresh face type of look. I'm really excited because this video is partially sponsored by Skin Store. They are giving me a 25% off coupon code that you all can use on the Daniel Sandler watercolors as well as several other things on their website. They're an online beauty store. They carry a lot of European and French brands that we cannot easily get here in the US. Uh, and this is actually where I've gotten and I've linked my Daniel Sandler blushes in the past. And I get comments all the time asking if I have a coupon code. I've got one now, 25% off, it's Shelby 25. I'll have it listed down below. Before we start, I wanna mention Skin Store sent me a couple of extra blushes that I already owned. So I think I'm gonna do a giveaway on my Instagram. Just keep an eye out for that after this video goes up and I will have my Instagram link down below. So let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna be working with the shade Angel today. It's one of my personal favorites. If you have a fair to light skin tone like I do, this is a phenomenal shade. It's just that perfect soft pink with like just a hint of like a peach undertone to it. If you have more of the medium to tan skin tone, there's a shade called Spicy that I really love. This is a nice, rich, warm kind of terracotta color. I'm gonna list down below according to your skin tone which shades I really uh, think you'll enjoy. But for today, I'm gonna be using the shade Angel just because I think it's super versatile. It's a really lovely color and um, if you are my skin tone, then you'll know this is probably the top one I'm gonna recommend for you. So the biggest mistake people make when applying the watercolors is simply applying too much and also not sharing the product out. So I am going to apply the smallest drop on the back of my hand, and this is actually probably a little bit too much, but just to give you an idea of an amount to start out with, that's what it should look like. The next thing that is crucial when applying these is sharing the product out. So I'm literally gonna take that and rub it on the back of my hand with my brush and almost to the point to where it's dried. The brush that I'm using, of course, is my Real Technique setting brush. This is a perfect example of a type of brush that you could use. It's very inexpensive. And I'm just going to bounce that on the top of my skin. And what you're gonna find uh, when you start out is that they're very sheer, and that's the point. They're very sheer and buildable, uh, but once you get them built up, they can get pretty intense. So the biggest mistake people make is literally just take a drop on the back of their hand, dip their brush in it, and then dip it directly on the skin. Since this is such a liquid formula, it can disturb the base you have underneath, especially if you're wearing a lot of foundation or a thicker foundation. So it's just so crucial that you get that blended out almost to where it's completely sheared out. And then you just want to lightly tap on the skin and it builds up to the most beautiful, glowing, just ethereal blush you've ever seen. So this is two layers of Angel on me, and this is where I would personally stop. I think this is just to my preference. You could definitely build up more if you wanted. The same thing goes for using your fingers. I know some of you guys have commented and said you like using your fingers. You still need to really shear that product out and just lightly tap. Uh, there's no way that you're going to get your desired effect by just taking a ton of the product all at once, not letting it dry down a bit, and then kind of swirling on top of the skin. It's basically shearing the product out and doing light taps, and that's how you apply it. I also get asked a lot if you can wear these on top of powder foundation. Absolutely, I do it all the time, and you literally do the same method. As long as you are not going in with 
a ton of liquid product on top of the brush, you should be fine. The thing that is so phenomenal about these blushes, in my opinion, is that they are so hyper realistic. When you use a powder blush and it just has that standard powder texture to it or more of a flat finish, it does not look as three dimensional as these do. If you looked at my skin in person right now, this literally almost looks like it is my skin. It has the craziest 3D effect um, and I will I will ride with these blushes till the end and y'all know it because I use them 24 7 all right so this is two layers of angel um, I like my blush pretty sheer most of you all know that but you could definitely build up further from this point it's all about building you do have to have a little bit more patience with this product but once you get the hang of it I promise you you won't go back and then I I have pretty much eliminated highlighters at this point because most of the blushes do have uh, a little bit of a crushed pigment to them where they give off this candlelit effect and it is not glittery under any circumstance it is just the most perfect uh, ethereal type of look so let's go ahead and finish this up because I did promise the rest of the look I want to again do like a very sheer lid so I'm going to take the Laura Mercier caviar chrome veils these are the liquid shadows and this one is in gilded fresco and I'm just going to take this and do like a quick wash over my eyes it is a gorgeous color and on top of the Gilded Fresco, I'm going to take my Bodyography Glitter Pigment. This one is in Caviar. It's kind of like a duochrome brown. And I'm just going to lightly tap this on the mobile part of my lid. So now that that's on the mobile part of my lid, I'm going to take a little bit of my Caviar Stick in Cobblestone. This is just the regular Caviar Stick. It's kind of like a taupey brown. And just on like a synthetic uh, blending brush, I want to slightly add like a transitional shade to my crease. Um, the caviar color from Bodyography can be a little hard to uh, blend seamlessly. So this, uh, by adding the caviar stick and cobblestone, I know this is getting really confusing with all the caviars, um, it just creates a nice kind of a more seamless effect. Um, so you can see I've got a little bit on uh, my crease here, but not on this side. So you get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying here? And finally, let's take a little bit of cobblestone on the lower lash line. And finally, just a bit of mascara. I'm using Charlotte Tilbury's Legendary Lashes Volume 2. And for lips, I'm gonna use my NYX Lip Pencil in Beige and top it off with my Buxom Gloss in the shade Sandy. Okay, so what do we think? Do we like the look? Do we understand the application technique? of watercolors maybe a little bit better. I hope so because that was the point of the video. I'm actually I'm actually really feeling this look. I wasn't planning on going this kind of hazy on the eyes, but you know, sometimes the best looks are the ones that you just kind of play around with and mix up and I'm feeling it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you pick up a watercolor from Skin Store. I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna use my own code to pick up the final few shades that I don't have in my collection. Uh, I really try not to say this phrase as far as needing makeup goes because obviously makeup is not a necessity, but if you are the type of person that wears makeup on a daily basis, especially if you feel like your makeup style relates to my style, these are just such an essential for me. I think that this they are one of the most beautiful makeup products on the market. I think that they are one of uh, the biggest hidden gems in the makeup industry. So um, love Daniel Sandler, personally love his company, and these are beautiful. So I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.